Hello, dear friends. I'm Carly Wharton. Welcome back to my porch. Welcome back to my channel. So glad you're here. In this video, I am talking about feeling ready. Ready. What does that mean to feel ready for something, to feel ready for change, to feel ready for improvement, to feel ready for what your soul is calling you to do if you're into those kinds of words? How do we get ourselves to feel ready to jump off the cliff, to leap out of the airplane and trust that our parachute will open, to, to leap and to trust that the universe is going to catch us? How do we feel ready enough to implement and integrate change into our lives? And I'm going to introduce a phrase that I learned from Abraham Hicks. Uh, Esther Hicks channels Abraham, and in their work teaching about law of attraction, she uses the phrase a lot, getting ready to be 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 ready for the rest of your life. Like, it's not ready like a final resting place. It's ready enough for this moment, whatever this moment happens to be. And then in the next moment, ready enough for that moment, whatever that moment happens to be. So getting ready to be ready, to be ready, to be ready. And a brief example, one, one quick example to, to illustrate, getting comfortable on video, getting comfortable doing videos is a perfect example of something that I feel like I've been working towards getting ready to be ready, to be ready, to be ready. In these last couple of weeks, I have recorded more videos than I have in my entire lifetime, like times five. And there's a reason for that because I needed to go through making 70 episodes of my podcast and making 20 episodes of that other podcast and doing 80 live events for other people through Zoom and chatting with friends on Marco Polo for a couple years, which if you're not familiar is a video chat app back and forth, you send videos back and forth. All of these steps along the way, I wasn't ready to make videos and like publish videos on a YouTube channel. I wasn't ready for that, but I was ready to talk on a podcast and that all by itself using my voice, which has nothing to do with making a video. I was doing that through podcasting and finding that my voice itself was this weak little baby muscle and podcasting has really helped me to engage that muscle and use it and figure out how to let my voice make sound in the world. That was a step that it's hard to make videos if all you're going to do is sit there and think about what you could say, <laughs> which is what I did like my whole life. And then you know, like do all these episodes of podcasting where you're not on video, you're not even thinking about, it hit me this morning because I do, I don't obviously put effort into what I'm wearing, but I do think about it, um, what my outfit is and podcasting, like that's just not even a thing, you know, like it doesn't matter. You could be butt naked. Sometimes I've been in undies and maybe a sports bra sitting on my bed making a podcast episode. That's how comfortable we're allowed to be when we're podcasting. And I love that. Being on video is like a whole different aspect. It's a whole different element. So I didn't leap right into doing this really multifaceted skill of putting yourself on video and publishing those videos out into the world. I worked myself up to it like one step at a time. And in each moment, you know what you're ready for because it's the moment you've manifested. So there was a time when starting my podcast was just all I could think about. I was like obsessed with it. And now I've gotten so used to podcasting that I don't do it that often anymore. Now, when I'm really feeling energized and inspired, I want to make videos. I want to be on the camera. I want to add that layer to what I'm creating and putting out into the world. I want people to be able to see me, um, which is not something, <laughs> not something that has been the case before. I've been perfectly happy to be off camera uh, doing my speaking, but 
in the end of it, my dream job is to be a professional public speaker and do live events. And that does require you being seen while you're doing what you're doing. So getting ready to be ready, to be ready, to be ready. Like it's all one step along the way. And the beautiful thing is that you know, maybe making videos in this example is kind of the, what I'm trying to approach and get ready for. But the more videos I make, the more I'm re-centering into this understanding that, again, it's getting ready to be ready, to be ready, to be ready, to be ready. Making videos is not the end all be all. This is a skill that's going to help me in whatever else I'm going to get ready for after this. It's never over, never over. So sitting still and saying, I'm not ready to move forward, just, it doesn't even make sense from this mindset because you're always ready. You're always ready for what you're ready for right now. And to embrace this moment as what I'm ready for right now, and then lean and, you know, through gratitude, through tuning your vibration, raising your vibration, whatever you can do to get your vibration to go up and up and up naturally you're ready for more and more and more. And the experience that you gain in this step will be built upon in the next step and the next step and the next step. So you're never not ready. You're always ready. You're ready for something. So identifying what is the step that I'm ready for and that I feel like I can take, it's within reach right now and focus your everything into this present moment, this right now moment of I'm ready for this and let whatever's coming next, let it come next. Don't even worry about that because that's not the present moment where all of our power is. So I thank you for listening. If you liked this video, if you liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel uh, where you'll be notified of my new video every day. Thank you so much. Until the next time, you take good, good care of yourselves, and so will I.